ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my session. My name is Ellie and I'm going to share with you on a topic called premium package. Okay, now first, what is premium? Premium refers to an extra amount on top of the standard pricing. Now, why are people willing to pay for an extra? Okay, and from the business point of view, what is the advantages of doing the premium packages? Okay, now I'm going to share with you on my session, right? One premium package blueprint, five reasons to sell premium packages, and five premium package secrets. So in short, 155. If you are an IPI warrior, I'm sure you know what is 155. And if you do, please type a 155 in the chat box. Okay, so premium package blueprint. There are five P's here. So first thing is that the premium mindset. Okay, so for example, today, if you are a new real estate agent, you just joined the uh, industry, right? And you have a listing of this mansion, $5 million uh, mansion, bungalow that is for sale. Okay, so do you feel, do you think that you can sell it? Right? As a newbie, most of the time, right, we do have this type of mindset. Oh, I'm not going to pay that price myself because I can't afford that. Because most of the time we are thinking for our from our point first, from our point first. Okay, so yeah, me, me, I. So I can't afford that. You know, I feel like I'm taking advantage of selling people these so so expensive houses, right? And I don't feel comfortable. You know, earning this amount of the uh, the uh, commission, right? I'm not ready to charge that. Especially the seller ask you, oh, how much commission are you getting? Right? You don't feel comfortable to tell that. Okay, and then my competitors charge less than me. Okay, so this is a mindset. Now, premium package, right? We are talking about premium mindset. So you can sell premium package with a poverty mindset. Okay, most people they don't become wealthy because they are not comfortable with the idea of wealth. Yes, in fact, if you come to think of it, most of the people, right, when they talk about money, they don't feel comfortable. Okay. So second P, premium price. Okay, so what usually uh, you know the pricing methods are. So poverty my pricing, right? So competition pricing. So most of the time when a business or a company they want to increase their sale, then they lower down their price because when they lower the price, there are more customers. Okay, so this tends to go into a price war. Okay, so how about a cost plus pricing? This refers to a you know a cost, right? So let's say one hundred dollars. I want to earn fifty percent margin, so I sell it at one hundred fifty. So with this, right? Okay, there is no differentiation, no value at all, right? Just cost plus. Okay, and then commodity pricing. So it depends on supply and demand. And we all know that when supply is more than demand, then the price will go down. Okay, so which is out of your control. So how about a premium pricing? Now, perception base. Okay, so let's just say that this is a dumbbell, right? A normal dumbbell, then you sell it at a normal price. But if you know how to tell a story, okay? This dumbbell is used by Mike Tyson before, the same model, alright? So, wow, okay, immediately it creates different value, okay? Demand-based pricing. We all know that during the holiday seasons, the air ticket, the hotel rates, right, they are higher because demand, there are more demand. And then value-based pricing. So look at this piece of art. Right? These are all the famous paintings and we all know that this costs so much, some even millions. All right? So value-based. But we all know that the canvas costs and the paints, right? it doesn't cost much. But when you draw something on it, wow, then different, right? value-based. And then need-based pricing. So for example, you stay in a hotel and during the midnight, you want to drink something and you grab the drink from the bar. Right in the in your hotel room, and you know that it is much much more expensive, but you still drink it before because you know you need it. All right, so this is a need base. Okay, so the P premium status. Now every time we enter a new environment, we tend to decide. You know, oh, this is somebody uh, who are high status. This is medium, and this is low status. So they will be doing the same with us too. Okay, so whatever message that we tell customers. Oh, our people around us, right? Our tonality, our eye contact, our body language, right? It will be received by everyone that we meet. So if you want to position ourselves as a high status, high value, high self-esteem, then it will shine through everything we do. Okay, so first of all, elevate our status, right? 
the last thing that you ever want to appear to others is that uh, this is just another agent or this is just another salesman right we want to be different okay and premium brand so now if you look at the logos right okay certain business in uh, you know they carry certain colors right so if f and b or daily uh, kind of usage right so usually it, it, it carries this uh, yellow orange color because it refers to energetics right okay and it creates appetite okay and how about blue color blue color is more for corporate feel right uh, a feeling of confidence practical okay and how about uh, we talk about elegance right then you have to look into gold color or black color this kind of colors because it creates the feeling of elegance right the grand right luxury okay so if we are talking about premium package then we have to look into these colors when we do our packaging you know and branding okay now premium place Think of a place, right? For example, Disneyland, all right? So when you go to, into Disneyland, right? Okay, once you enter, you see all the cartoon characters, you know, and then all the, you know, dolls, right? The tickets and so on. They are so high priced, right? And you're still willing to spend it. And you spend it happily because you are in a closed environment. You are in a closed environment. So in this closed environment, you have the uh, experience, you have the feeling, right? And as a business, you know, Disneyland, they can charge you whatever they want, right? So this is a premium place, okay? So there are five reasons to sell premium packages, right? Reason number one, more profits equals to fewer headaches, all right? Because you need fewer clients to hit your revenue goals if you know 10 people to meet a 5 million goals or you want 100 people to meet your 5 million goals right the revenue is the same right but you need fewer clients and then competing on lower price is not a sustainable um, advantage long term because you have lower margin all right and then it might work when you are selling a commodity right a products right so if let's say you have walmart but it won't work well when you are selling an experience, right? If we are a real estate agent, we are selling experience. We can't sell, you know, our experience to more people because our time is so limited, okay? So business is a game of margin as it's not about volume, especially if we are selling experience. Okay, reason number two, higher prices equal to better clients, okay? If you come to think of it, your best clients, right, it, it requires less customer support, right? And the clients who pay you the most, actually, uh, they are usually the ones who need the least support, okay? And the more they pay, the more they pay attention, all right? Because, yeah, how can I get the most from this investment, okay? And your high-paying clients, they usually respect you and your advice and your time. So, better clients, all right? Reason number three, you can afford to deliver more value because you have higher margin, all right? So you have more wiggle room to deliver sensational value, okay? Show your love, show your appreciation to your customer and you can really wow your clients and buyers, right? You can include high value extras, bonus and give to create extra value and memory, right? To your client, right? Don't sell services, sell experience when you deliver the gift when you send your concerns right to your customers right that is the experience that your customer is getting okay reason number four make your business more recession proof right some buyers they only buy premium package right they don't want cheap they want the best okay and we want this type of customers right especially in real estate people don't buy house because of cheap right people buy house because they see the value there oh okay potential investment oh okay this is my dream home all right i really like this environment i really like the house so i want the best i don't want cheap right okay so when someone pays a low price right they usually expect problems do you know that their minds are looking for what are they going to do wrong especially you know if you are going to an eye surgery let's say eye surgery right would you want the lowest price clinic or you want the best one okay so you do look at the price but you look at their their you know reputation okay and when your client pays top dollars they will help you to make sure that it's been a valuable experience for example if you go if i go to a high cast restaurant right the chairs that i see the environment you know in the restaurant everything is so nice to me because i have paid top dollars for it 
okay so reason number five higher prices allow you to scale okay you have more margins to pay out your, your affiliates your business partners and you have more margins to pay the top-notch closers right you have good stuff and you could spend more to acquire a new client and this is very important right and you get to have more and more new client that you want okay that they are willing to pay for the uh, premium package right and the business owner who can spend the most to acquire a client will win all right so premium package secrets so what are the secrets now secret number one premium pricing demands high self-esteem okay so if we don't believe ourselves we cannot sell premium packages like you know so that we have to elevate our status our mindset premium mindset okay your self-worth dictates so how much you charge how much you believe in yourself your work and your values the customer your customer they can sense the way that you talk right they can sense um okay what is your status all right and self-esteem i want to be better always tell yourself right i want to be better i want to become a better version of myself so that i have more capabilities all right so self-esteem now premium secret number two premium pricing demand major pre problem solving right so if you come to think of it right most of the time the more pain your customer is experiencing right then the, the higher that you can charge right the higher that you can charge the more pain the higher charge that you can charge right and usually right the type of business that falls into these three sectors they can solve the customers problems like health and fitness dating and relationships and in our terms right real estate we falls under this business and wealth right money right money power and sex so these are all the, the, the major problems right that usually we can charge at a premium okay and secret number three premium pricing demands market intelligence right the true art of selling premium package is to sell the concept not the product not the service right it's the concept so we sell concepts and solutions we sell image we sell dreams and the better future right so real estate right okay we always tell that oh this is going uh you know if you are staying here how your life is going to be right if you invest in this so in the future you are going to gain this and that right so this is the dreams that we are drawing for our customers okay we sell at things great and imagine that our prospect is longing for all right and we sell to people's emotions right emotions instead of their actual requirements okay secret number four premium pricing demands premium positioning right so what they believe they know about you all right what they are told by others about you and what they read and hear about you and who you are associated with right and who they associate you with in their minds okay so notice that your positioning in your customer's mind is not what you tell them but others people tell them and how they see you okay it's not how you say it how you see it out right so there are six ways to elevate your status specialize don't generalize okay prescribe don't sell set a rule set a rule all right and then walk away don't back right walk away don't back oh so it's okay it's okay right and then be recommended don't show up cold especially you know word of mouth is the most powerful tool right to you know to get a bad best client all right and then appointment only appointment only and application or invitation only all right so secret, secret number five premium pricing demands storytelling yeah this is very important because story equals to your asset okay so what's your story okay what's your origin story what's your zero to hero story why would i follow you why would i buy from you you know why would i listen to you okay and how did you come up with this idea all right what drives you to go into this mission okay and what client story you could, could you use right is there a client story that you can tell me right okay and what do you have to overcome right so these are all storytelling okay so now if you had a choice would you choose high or low status status elevates your opportunity to make a difference all right and that is my sharing for today all right thank you and see you again bye bye